yes oh yeah pause this video and tell me the five moments of hand washing if you are a nurse and you don't know the five moments of hand washing i believe you need flogging good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is miss mary popularly known as the nurse with the difference i make learning easy and accessible for all my students today i'm going to be talking about the five moments of hand hygiene in such a way that you can remember when you are practicing but before we go into details if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers i am saying thank you let's go there welcome back like i earlier said today i'm going to be talking about the five moments of hand hygiene hand washing hand cleaning hand hygiene hand washing hand cleaning yes if you are a nurse and you don't know the five moments that is given to us of hand washing then i think you need flogging but i will not flog you let me teach you first the first one is before touching a patient you are going into the ward a patient is coming you've not washed your hand who are you doing the first one is what before touching a patient before you touch me as your patient please if you know you are a nurse can you wash your hand ah, you've touched a lot of things definitely you've touched the keys you've touched the you've touched the lockers you've touched the cd uh, the drugs there's something you must have touched just please sanitize your hand so the first moments of hand washing as a nurse or as a medical practitioner or as anybody working in the head sector is what before touching your patients then the second one before clean or aseptic procedure before you do any procedure even taking blood pressure vital signs assessing your patient any procedure at all before doing any procedure you have to wash your hands it's very important i remember there's a particular thing i learned from my husky is hand washing seriously particular thing the particular procedure i learned from my husky in the uk is hand washing this is my hands if that's your latent i learned so that's something do it because um you have to be conscious about it before any procedure on a patient before a clean and an aseptic procedure as a nurse you have to wash your hand the first one is what i'm reminding you the first one is before touching your patient the second one before clean slash aseptic procedure the third one after body fluid exposure seriously if you don't used to do this one you are worst <laughs> because how will you touch a patient's fluid a patient's sweats a patient's blood you will fix the cannula you did something with regards to patient's fluid and you don't wash your hand kilo day what is happening so after body fluid exposure as it does it is very important you wash your hand then the other one is after touching a patient remember the first one was before touching a patient you've touched the patient right the patient might be sweating you checked the pulse to know if it's okay you've checked the temperature your hand systematically come in contact with the patient oh you don't want to before after touching a patient please there's hand sanitizer even if it will not be quick for you to wash the hand sanitize your hand that's why we have sanitizers everywhere where i work i don't know about where you work but try as much as possible as a nurse if your environment is not making it affordable or available for you you can have a pocket size hand sanitizer to keep you safe and also your family the last one moment of hand washing is after touching the patient's environment immediately you leave that patient's environment that patient's ward wash your hands before you meet another patient so these are the five moments of hand washing i'll go over it again because i want it to stay in your head and also stay in my head so that i can be remembering them i when practicing the first one is before touching a patient the second one before a clean slash aseptic procedure the third one is after body slash fluid exposure the fourth one is after touching a patient and the fifth one is after touching the environment of the patient hand washing it's very very important hand washing will help us to reduce the spread of infection more than any other thing seriously 
like hand washing i don't know how to see i was kind of reading a lot of things about hand washing when i got an insight about hand washing i told myself messy you have to be conscious about hand washing because with hand washing a lot of lives will be saved just that hand washing alone you won't know what you are doing you think oh it's not just hand washing but well, these are your hands that you are not seeing these are my hands that i'm not seeing there are a lot of bacteria and germs in it. So if I take this hand now, use it from one patient, I touch one patient, I'm not seeing the bacteria, I'm not seeing the germs. That's how we take it and put it in another patient. So that is why immediately after touching a patient, you wash your hands before moving to another patient. Hand washing, it's very, very good. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day ahead. If you are a nursing student and you have not registered for our classes, like I will always say, you are missing a lot all you have to do is to send a message to the whatsapp number showing on your screen so you know how to register for our classes and have access to all the voice notes thank you very much and have a wonderful day ahead